Welcome to today's video, where we'll be delving into the fascinating world of power electronics to explore the inner workings of a boost converter. A boost converter is a type of DC-DC converter that enables us to step up the input voltage to a higher output voltage level. This versatile circuit is widely used in various applications, including power supplies, battery chargers, and renewable energy systems. A boost converter is a type of DC-DC, direct current to direct current, power converter that steps up or boosts the input voltage to a higher output voltage level. It is also known as a step-up converter. The boost converter operates by storing energy in an inductor or capacitor while the input voltage is switched on, and then releasing that energy to the output load when the switch is off. The basic components of a boost converter include an inductor, a diode, a capacitor, a switch, usually a transistor, and a control circuit. When the switch is closed, current flows through the inductor, storing energy in its magnetic field. The energy stored in the inductor is then released when the switch is opened, causing the voltage across the inductor to increase. This increased voltage is then transferred to the output load through the diode and the capacitor. The boost converter can be used to increase the voltage level from a low input voltage source, such as a battery, to a higher output voltage required for various applications. It is commonly used in electronic devices, power supplies, battery chargers, and renewable energy systems where the input voltage may vary or be lower than the desired output voltage. The efficiency of a boost converter depends on various factors, such as the switching frequency, the quality of components used, and the design parameters. Proper control and regulation are necessary to ensure stable and reliable operation of the boost converter. Overall, a boost converter is a versatile DC-DC converter that provides a way to step up voltage levels efficiently and is widely used in a range of applications where voltage boosting is required. Now, let's take a closer look at the circuit we have set up here to understand the boost converter's operation in detail. We begin with a plus 5V input connected in series with a 1H inductor. The inductor, with its ability to store energy in its magnetic field, plays a crucial role in the functioning of the boost converter. The drain of an N MOSFET, a type of power transistor, is connected to the inductor. The gate and source of the MOSFET are connected to a 5V square wave generator. This square wave generator will control the switching of the MOSFET, which is the key aspect of the boost converter's operation. To better understand the process, we have a diode connected in parallel with the inductor. This diode, commonly known as a freewheeling diode or catch diode, provides a path for the inductor's stored energy to circulate when the MOSFET is turned off. It allows the current to flow in only one direction, preventing any reverse flow and protecting the MOSFET. Additionally, we have a capacitor of 10 microfarads connected in parallel with the diode. This capacitor acts as a filter and helps smoothen the output voltage, reducing any ripples or voltage fluctuations that might be present. Finally, we have a resistor of 1K connected as a load, and the output voltage is displayed on the oscilloscope. Now, let's delve into how the boost converter operates. It functions based on the principle of energy storage and release in the inductor. When the square wave generator provides a high voltage, the MOSFET turns on, allowing current to flow through the inductor. As current flows through the inductor, energy is stored in its magnetic field. This energy storage process occurs over a specific period known as the on or charging phase. When the square wave generator switches to a low voltage, the MOSFET turns off, interrupting the current flow through the inductor. As a result, the inductor releases the stored energy in the form of a voltage spike. This voltage spike gets added to the input voltage, effectively stepping it up. This process takes place during the off or discharging phase. The diode comes into play during the discharging phase. It ensures that the current flows only in one direction, preventing any backward flow that could disrupt the circuit's operation. The freewheeling diode provides a path for the inductor's energy to circulate, allowing a smooth discharge and preventing voltage spikes that could damage the MOSFET. To further enhance the output voltage quality, we have the capacitor connected in parallel with the diode. The capacitor acts as a storage element, helping to smoothen out the voltage waveform and reduce any ripples or fluctuations present. 
It acts as a buffer, ensuring a more stable and regulated output voltage. Finally, we measure the output voltage across the resistor, which represents our load. The resistor simulates a practical load that the boost converter would typically drive. By adjusting the duty cycle and frequency of the square wave generator, we can control the output voltage level of the boost converter. This flexibility enables us to step up the input voltage to meet the specific requirements of various electronic systems. In conclusion, the boost converter is a fundamental circuit that plays a vital role in modern power electronics. Its ability to step up voltage levels efficiently and reliably makes it a popular choice in many applications. By harnessing the principles of energy storage and release in the inductor, combined with the control provided by the MOSFET and square wave generator, the boost converter offers a flexible and adjustable output voltage. The boost converter's advantages include high efficiency, compact size, and the ability to handle a wide range of input and output voltages. It is particularly useful in scenarios where the input voltage is lower than the desired output voltage, such as in battery-powered devices or renewable energy systems. Moreover, the boost converter can operate in continuous or discontinuous modes, depending on the load and operating conditions. In continuous mode, the inductor current never reaches zero, resulting in smoother output voltage and reduced ripple. In discontinuous mode, the inductor current drops to zero during each switching cycle, which can be advantageous in certain applications. Understanding the boost converter's operation allows engineers and designers to effectively utilize it in their projects. By carefully selecting the components and optimizing the circuit parameters, one can achieve the desired output voltage with minimal losses and excellent regulation. As you can see, the boost converter is a crucial building block in the world of power electronics. Its ability to step up voltage levels efficiently makes it an essential tool for various applications. By mastering the principles and intricacies of the boost converter, you can unlock new possibilities in designing efficient power supplies, renewable energy systems, and many other electronic devices. I hope you found this comprehensive explanation of the boost converter insightful. If you have any further questions or need clarification on any aspect, please feel free to let me know. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more exciting videos exploring the fascinating world of electronics.